very often we get stuck in big emotions and can't figure out what's wrong or what we need to do. And here's why. It's because we haven't yet felt the emotion and given it enough space to give us the information, all the information. So here's what you can do instead. This is a tool I learned from my teacher, Catherine Close, and that I teach to many of my clients. It's called somatic dialogue. So first of all, breathe into your body. Take deep breaths and notice how they feel. Slowly notice your body sensations. Do a scan from head to foot and notice where you feel sensations. Without trying to fix them or change them, just notice. Then go to the area where you feel most sensation in your body and imagine it getting bigger. Let it get bigger. And then imagine it having a color. First thing that comes to mind. Don't get too headsy about it. Imagine it having a space and let those get bigger. Imagine that you are at the center of them and they surround you. And as you feel those sensations and the colors, see what emotions they inspire. Does it make you feel sad or angry or joyful or frustrated or whatever? Notice that. And then go into that emotion and let that get bigger. Let's say it's frustration. Imagine that frustration as you breathe in, it takes up more space in your body. Or you can imagine giving it a place at the council table, along with your physical sensations and your mind. And then, after you felt your feelings, you felt the sensations and the emotions, you can find out if it has a message for you or if there's something it is needing. Now, if you want to go a little deeper before that, you can find out if the emotions and the sensations remind you of anything. Have you felt them before? Then go into that memory and imagine your then self. Find out what they are feeling or needing or wanting to say to you. And then you can come back out of, of that message or the, the memory with some ideas of what you're needing. And from there, bring your mind on board to see how you can get those needs met. But the thing is, you have to go into the emotions and let them take up space, let them be there in order to have enough information to make great decisions for yourself and to try new things. Hope that helps.